Okie dokie. So somebody asked me to talk about tough books. I got a pile of tough books. This one is a CF-33 Mark I. This is a CF-19 Mark uh, seven. Seven, six, seven, and 8 are the one to get of this guy. They have Core i5 processors. They use DDR3 memory, SATA. Uh, they have a USB 3 port on the side right here. So, whereas the Mark 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Mark being the generation, CF-19 being the model, do not. This one has a GPS, and with the fat fins on it, that means that it has a broadband card. This one would have been 3G. It's actually removed because, well, 3G has been removed. Um, they're touchscreen. Almost all of them are touchscreen by default. Um, the other thing that's a little bit more rare is a digitizer screen. This one actually happens to have it. When these have a digitizer screen, the pen, see there has a button on it. Um, this allows the pen to move the cursor without touching the screen. And tap. They're also pressure sensitive. You can use them as a drawing tablet, which is what several of my customers do with these. Uh, they use them for digital art because they're really rugged, really tough, you got a long battery life, and with a digitizer, and them it costs you way less than, you know, like a Wacom Intuos or something like that, you can, it just makes more sense, you know, let's put it that way. But this one's really clean, this one's actually already sold, customer's picking it up tomorrow. There is the full model number, and you can Google that and get the specs for these if you're looking to buy one. It helps to get your specs before you get the unit. Just, just as a thing, you know, right? I'm going to sign that one in. The 33, I want to talk about him real quick. This is newer. This is what the new generation of Toughbooks looks like. Um, it's very large. It's got the booty, which has got the two, uh, two hot swappable large run batteries in it. These come out one at a time. And the idea is, if you had a little large organization or something, you would have these sitting on a separate charger. You take one out, you pop it in, and as long as you take about one at a time, you can hot swap them and the computer will stay running. This is my additional stylus pen for drawing because, again, I do digital art on this. It's also a touchscreen 10 point multi touch with a digitizer. And I'd like to demonstrate the digital real quick with Krita, open source art program. We'll just give that a second to boot up here. Um, ignore the Ryzen badge. I was bored. This actually has a Core i5. Very similar in spec to this. These two computers actually existed at the same time for a short while. They continued to make the 19 as they started with the new CF20. Um, the CF19 is very popular. And when you have customers that are businesses, not regular people, they have accessories, they have docking stations, they have external battery chargers and so on. They're not going to want to change all of that out just because you changed your laptops. So these have a very long runtime, and they're very, very modular. Not only are they modular, the parts interchange. This is a Mark 8. This is the one I hooked down the stairs in the other video. You see, this one's very worn. Um, it actually will live in my shower for the most part. But I want to show you something here real quick. Put it on this side. Open these two doors up. you got... A removable battery do that with your Apple and just that eh, this is the hard drive caddy hard drives inside there it's all packed with foam has a heater in it it's extremely cold these computers can preheat the hard drive to make sure that they have error free booting or in the case of mechanical drives that the bearing will actually spin because it's you know sub-zero weather that bearing that spins the platter will be locked up because it's so cold And this one I haven't really used yet. Yeah, throw the pin on the floor, that's fine. So if I draw here, you can actually turn on the pressure sensitivity settings. I don't know how to do it. You know what? I don't know something that'll work. 
yeah, this is going to show off my video production skills like nothing else. I'm so good at this. People will pay to watch me. No, don't watch me. This is pretty terrible. Oh, well, that's the bucket. See, I don't even have the pen selected. That's the pen. So if I press lightly, if I press hard, so you can do like really light stuff. But yeah, anyways, you get pen sensitivity with the, uh, the digitizer screen ones. Do not save, we don't need that. <laughs> so yeah, just a demonstration of how that works. And like I said, my digital artist friends, a lot of them use these because they are so rugged and actually not that expensive. The other cool thing about this guy is it's still a tablet. You can remove the, the screen and have just that as a separate device. A separate handle on this one. Morning Lion logo, of course. But yeah, it's a pretty handy machine. So if you can get your hands on one, highly recommend it. Because like I said, they are extremely rugged, extremely durable, easy to repair, very repairable, um, which is the number one reason I have them. I absolutely will not have an Apple device because if you do break it, how do you fix it? You don't. Simple as that. Here's one that I pulled the hard drive out of earlier. It's just going to boot right up. Like it, just don't care. Uh, all three of these are running Windows 10 Pro X64. This guy's 8 gigs of RAM. The Mark 7 has 12. That one has 16. It has 12 because I just didn't feel like changing out everything. Uh, but yeah, they're it just they're just easy. I said, check your eBay. A lot of these are auction computers. But uh, yeah, when I hooked it down the stairs, I had the screen turn. Like that. Watch it back down. That just helps make it secure. I'm not, not going to drop it on this table because I don't want to drop it through it. But you know, they don't care. Dog cares a little bit. Laptop though, it don't care. It don't care at all. See all the water spots on the screen from, yeah, the other day. But there you go. Quick overview of these laptops. You can have fun with them, and you can really impress your friends.